is it too expensive to ship books into Amazon FBA? Is it really worth selling books? The cost to ship your books to the Amazon FBA warehouses, is it killing your profits? Well, I'm gonna answer that question in this video. But before we get started, I wanna let you know my name's Steve, Rake and Profit, made over 16, 1700 videos on my channel, been reselling for five or six years. And one of my favorite items I love to sell are books. Now, a lot of people say, where do you sell books? I primarily sell my books on Amazon FBA. Yes, you can sell your books on eBay, but you're going to get the most money on Amazon. Um, they sell way quicker on Amazon than eBay, and you can really scale your Amazon book business on Amazon using the fulfillment warehouses. So pretty much what you do is you get 10, 20, 30 books together, throw them in a box, send them off to the Amazon FBA warehouse. And when it sells, they're going to pick it, pack it, ship it, fulfill your order, deal with customer service. And essentially at the end of the day, you are going to get paid. But a lot of people, they're kind of held back from getting started because they think to themselves, well, shipping is really expensive. If I'm you know, sending in 10, 20, 30 books to Amazon, that's gonna crush my profit margins because it's gonna be three, $4 a book you know, in total to ship it out. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that luckily uh, the shipping to Amazon, uh, to the Amazon FBA warehouses through UPS is significantly uh, subsidized. So it's actually really cheap. Uh, for example, yesterday I sent out two shipments of books. Now you gotta remember when you're shipping out books in a box, you wanna keep the box under 50 pounds. Uh, back in the day, you used to be able to write team lift on the, the outside of the box if it was over 50 pounds and you could get away with it. But nowadays you could actually get your account suspended. So I try to keep my boxes under, typically under 45 pounds. I like it around 40 pounds. I hurt my back recently, so I'm trying to keep the weight down a little bit. But um, for me to ship, I sent out two shipments yesterday. One was 43 pounds and the other one was 38 pounds. Uh, the one that was 48 pounds uh, cost like $8.50 and the one that was 38 pounds came to like $7 and change. So literally per item on a per item basis, it was anywhere between like 60 to 80 cents per item to ship out, which is dirt freaking cheap. So that's one of the awesome things about selling your books via Amazon FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon, Number one, you ship it off, you, 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 know, you clean your hands of the inventory. Number two, they fulfill it all for you. They deal with customer service. And number four, it's actually really cheap to ship it off uh, to the warehouses via uh, UPS because it is subsidized. So again, it's, it's cheap, it's not as expensive as you would think. Now, I do wanna mention that there's a couple things you have to keep in mind. Sometimes they're going to split your shipments off. So me personally, I live in Connecticut. The shipments that I sent out yesterday went to New Jersey, so it was very close. So the proximity is going to be a determinant of how much you know, the, the shipment's gonna cost, the weight and the location. If you're in Connecticut and they're splitting your shipments off, which means maybe you're sending out 30 books, they might send 10 books to Florida, 10, bu 10 books to New Jersey, 10 books to California. The 10 books that are going to California, given that they're all the same weight each box, just for this example, is gonna be the most expensive because it's farther away. So um, typically what I like to do to make sure all the books go to um, one location, is uh, ship like less than like 25 or 30 books. Granted that it's under 50 pounds, but if you do a shipment of like 15 to 25 books at a time, for me personally, it goes to the same place. They never really split it off. When I do uh, more than like 50 books, even if it is under 50 pounds, maybe I have a lot of paperbacks, there's a better chance of it getting split into multiple locations. So essentially what would happen is you would have to put the books in different boxes because they're going to different locations, different um, labels on, on the outside of each one. And once you uh, split your shipment, like for example, in the same batch, if you're going more than than, than one shipment, you're gonna have to provide box contents inside of each box so Amazon knows what is inside of each box, which is kind of annoying to be honest with you. I never do it, I only do single shipments just because I'm not a huge seller. If I was like shipping out thousands of books and had employees and stuff, we would go through with the box contents and um, I use a software called Accelerlist that actually 
uh, includes a pretty simple process to do it, but again, it's it's an extra couple steps. So uh, hopefully that answered your question. Yes, I love selling books. Uh, number two, no, it's not very expensive to ship your books to Amazon FBA. And uh, three, I just love the scalability of it all. So um, yeah, get started with books. If you have any more questions about selling books, drop a comment down below. But with that being said, keep on picking to make it on money, and I'll see you in the next video. Smash that like button.